I'm eating caramel corn. It's called zebra. Um, caramel corn with uh, chocolate on it. That's why I needed. I'm a diabetic. <laughs> Not funny, really. But anyway, I wanted to tell you all uh, happy solstice, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, Christmas, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Yiwa, Yewa, whatever the hell it is. <laughs> and all Christian scientists, you're saying. <laughs> I am. <laughs> anyway, uh, just have a good, uh, a happy day and enjoy it. Live it. Enjoy the lights. You might not like the season, but enjoy the lights. The lights bring about a lot of things. Calmness, for one. Mm. Music can be a little depressing, so go to Vivaldi or something. Near death experience. I experienced it in 1972. Um... 1983 and recently I just got out of the hospital recently again and uh, it was bad um, of course my back surgery was no trip but you all know about that it gave me a lot of meds and I ended up <laughs> posting everywhere that I was being kidnapped and uh, they were killing everybody in the nursing home, and oh my god, it went on and on. And I'm still like, I don't remember any of it. Um, I do remember running away from the nursing home a couple times. <laughs> I don't know how I did it. It was pure adrenaline, and um, it was crazy. It's just <laughs> so. But on to um, what has happened recently. Um, they thought, you know, I was going to lose my leg on my right side. It was it was really bad. And that's when they found um, the Addison's disease and um, that I'm diabetic. Well, the first time I was there, I, I didn't do good. I was on oxygen. And um, I was seeing things again. And... This time, it was different, you know, I, I was really ill, and all I, I just remember, um, I think it was my mom, she came over on the side of the bed, and she was smoking her damn Chesterfield Kings again, she's always smoking around me when I see her, but, anyway, I, I, the strong smell of Chesterfield Kings makes me nauseated. <laughs> make me nauseated again. But there she was, you know, chomping at it. And um, she said, I'll be waiting for you. And I told her not to show up. <laughs> I told her that um, I, I really and truly, you know, I'm, I'm waiting for someone else. And she said, looks like they didn't show up. <laughs> It's time to go. Um, well, when I had my back surgery, it was bad. I was just coming out of it. I saw a black mist. Total black. And, uh, with that black mist, um, came all the, the realities of all my things that I've done wrong in my life and all that. And, the, and uh, it was like a flashback, a fast train going. It was very fast. No time, no space. It was just there. It was just there. And this last time, I was just there, but had to face off with my mom. And it was kind of uncomfortable. And I told her, I said, I think I want to go back. She goes, uh, you got to make up your mind. And I'm like, yeah, I know. So, 
I know. But anyway, time is gone. And uh, I don't, I didn't see any big, beautiful light. All I could do is smell the death. I guess fear can do that too, hey? Yeah. Addison's disease um, is really a, not a good disease to have. But it's telling them it's a signal that the tumor's back and. Uh, it's so micro that you don't see it. It's growing slowly, but it's causing everything inside my body to just fall apart. And it is, in fact, falling apart. The One of the treatments is uh, a steroids. It's a high steroid, and it, you're always on it. And you know, Steroids, you know, are listed under chemotherapy. They're one of them, along with um, the pills that they use. And so... Bromocryptine has been ma mentioned again, which is another um, method of uh, controlling this. Um, and, of course, direct radiation to the brain at the pituitary. In the meantime, I have short-term memory, and I, I don't even remember short-term hardly. Um, vitamin B deficiency and 3 um, and I'm really into make. So, there'll be more tests. All I can say is, is that I'm there. I feel I'm there. Um, I might, you know, make it through the five years. I don't know. You know, I, I just don't know. Um, you know, they've ordered another colonoscopy for me and, of course, a uh, breast exam because uh, some things are starting to show up again. So I'm, I'm confused. And, you know, to be honest with you, I'm really scared. That's why I wanted to become a moderator because I'm good at moderating. I would have kept my mind off of other things, and, but it's okay. You know, things happen. Happen for a reason. Kind of odd. But anyway, um, have a great day. I will be back on Christmas Eve. I'll probably be checking in in the meantime. I'm going to bring a computer with me. I'll be going to Denver and then on to Missouri against the doctor's orders. I have to go. It's important. It's very important. I haven't been home for 30 years for Christmas. I want to go home. If only to say goodbye. Yeah, you can't do that. <laughs> well, guys, I know you're still there because the cat just took <laughs> hold of the camera. 